Welcome to Akureyri. It's hard to believe it's only a hundred kilometers from the Arctic Circle, but today it's warm and sunny. We're too hot. As you get off the ship, there's a map. We're here at the cruise terminal. And we're going to wander in. There's tourist information there. It's best to take a photo of it and then you'll know where you are. You can actually see the church from the car park by the ship. So we've walked up from the ship and the tourist information is over on the corner there. The tourist information office is inside the Hof Cultural and Conference Center. I've got my map. If you book a Boris Lagoon spa, this is where you pick up the free shuttle. It's just outside the tourist office. The church is easy to find. You turn left at the tourist office, past the whale watching hut, and then turn right and you'll see it. It's plain as day. This looks like the old high street and it's literally one block away from the ship. There's another rainbow road outside the art museum as you go up the hill. The story goes that the stained glass window from Coventry Cathedral was removed just before the Second World War to protect it from the bombs. It was later found in an antique shop and made its way to the church here in Iceland. The strange thing is that the pictures on the stained glass window depict scenes from Icelandic history, which is weird, isn't it? Just past the church and on the way up to the botanical gardens, you pass some beautiful houses. About 1934, in the house at the bottom of this hill, they received the first television transmissions in Iceland. They received it from Crystal Palace and it was from equipment that they had made themselves. It's another one of Ina Johnson's statues. He gets everywhere, doesn't he? This one's called The Outlaw. Early on in the history of Akureyri, this road was called the Path of Destruction and it was because some students would stroll down on their way to a night out on the town and other students didn't approve, so that's how it's got its name. And this is Akureyri Junior College. Come with me. So we found the botanical gardens. We had a lovely surprise when we came in here. It's free to come in and they're actually very beautiful. At the top of the hill, there's a little cafe. These are all alpine plants. They love their rainbow colours. This is one of the most northern botanical gardens in the world. The botanical gardens are also included in the waterfall tour. The gardens were founded by the wives of the rich Danish merchants who settled here. They knit covers for the litter bins, look, like we do for our post boxes. There's a book cafe here, you can buy a book, buy a coffee, sit down and have a read. <laughs> it's quite a slow slide. There's good shopping here. The troll likes it. Akureyri is quite a buzzy town. It's got cocktail bars, it's got an ice cream parlour, it's got a play area for the kids and great shops. If you're adventurous, you can go zip lining. And the sheep here in Iceland live a very interesting and interdependent life, far away from human interaction for most of The fish that people are tasting is dried haddock and they've got some schnapps to help it down. If you're looking for the microbrewery, look for the kegs. I think that might be a clue. Their life, because they 
because the entire summer uh, they spent outside in the mountains and the highlands of Iceland. In May, all of the lambs are born in a span of five weeks. We're on a tour to the waterfall of the gods from the cruise ship. Now they dropped us off just over here and they're, they're going to pick us up down by the toilets and the restaurant. It's a very easy, well-made path with a rail to keep you away from the edge. So here it is, the waterfall of the gods. The story goes that when Iceland became a Christian country, the head of the country came here and threw his Norse gods over into the waterfall. And that's why the waterfall is called the waterfall of the gods. lived in the house and uh, there was a kitchen, a uh, laundry room and a mortuary in the house and most importantly there was a bathroom with hot running water. One of the first buildings in town with that commodity and the people of Akureyri were actually allowed to use this bathroom but they had to announce their coming a day prior. Also coming up on the right side, slightly hidden behind bigger, more colorful houses, a small black house, that is the Namna Hus, uh, a museum dedicated to the author Nonni, who lived part of his childhood here in Akureyri before he first moved to France, and then finally ended up in Germany, where he wrote all of his books called Nonni and Nonni, that were inspired by his Icelandic childhood. His books were also turned into, into a TV show in the 1970s. Wow. There's the church we walked from and there are the cruise ships in the horrible rain and mist and yet it's you're just warm and cozy and i'm heading to the bar which will make me feel even better oh, who came up with this idea of making travel films and who is doris anyway i'm exhausted 